Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Simply Sammy. I'm Sammy, this is my husband, Jay. And um, today we will be talking about our smart home appliances, tours, gadgets, uh, whatever. Um, we have a lot, so we may have to break it up. So far, what are we gonna start with? Uh, since we're in the kitchen, I guess we can do We'll do the hub because we got a lot of questions about the hub. Everybody thought it was a microwave, but uh, we'll start there. And we'll, we'll start with the things that I did with the kitchen that uh, Sandy did not agree with, which was the hub in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll, I we'll just wanted to vent, but yes, we'll get into that. Go. All right, this right here is a GE hub. Everybody thought it was a microwave, but uh, what it is is just a big LCD screen. But the purpose of this is, it's a hood bin. So, if I scroll up, it turns the fan on to suck all the stuff out. And it sucks out higher, about 10 times better than the, uh, the microwave that we had up here. Not only is it, it does the hub stuff, but of course, we cook together, we do HelloFresh. Yeah. We watch And YouTube. Home Chef. We do, we do everything with this. When we first got here, I pulled the microwave out and I, and I told her I was gonna have this installed in and she almost lost her mind. <laughs> I didn't want him messing up my kitchen. <laughs> so it was not, We paid extra for the upgraded appliances and here he goes taking out the appliances. All right, so this is my vision, right? So His vision. They came and they put this in and right after they put it in, she said, I love it. I didn't say I love it. That's, that's what she said. It but, was all right. But then she <laughs> said, I don't have a microwave. Yes. So she's upset about the microwave. So I also had the microwave here as well, but we just it just took about two months for, me, for us to get somebody in and install it. And uh, she didn't want it to mess up her, her, her cabinetry. She just, she was against all of it. So now we have a microwave drawer. Microwave drawer, she loves it as well. <laughs> she, it's she, all right. She's starting to see my vision. So the microwave drawer, uh, it's about twice the size of a regular microwave. It, it, it's awesome. But uh, this this was my vision for the kitchen. Uh, the last thing we're gonna do with the kitchen is we're going to switch out this refrigerator. This refrigerator is gonna go back and the uh, walk-in pantry along with the freezer and the other microwave. And she has to get her knock-knock refrigerator. Once that comes in, the kitchen will be done. Show them um, how the, does the YouTube and everything. Uh, okay. And you can put, obviously you can put your photos and stuff. Yeah, this, this it, it does everything. And it also controls the appliances. So it lets us know, cause it's all GE. It's GE Cafe all the appliances and it'll let us know. Matter of fact, that's YouTube. Okay. So if I swipe over, I can go to the kitchen hub and they'll bring up the dashboard and you actually, you put all the appliances that you got in and they'll let you know when everything gets services and if something's not working right. Um, and you can also control it from your phone as well. Did you put them in? You didn't put them in yet? I just put the uh, double oven up in there. Well, where is it? So we'll go to the kitchen. You see the double ovens here. Oh, that's saying the oven is off? Yeah. Um, but it's dope. It does everything. I didn't know I had Netflix. Go back to the apps. So I can watch these, everything on here. These are all the apps that we have on it so far. It's, it's, it's nothing about a computer, so. Oh, okay. Oh, like when I'm learning stuff new. <laughs> but uh, when, we, when we in here, we're, we're cooking, we usually watch uh, YouTube. YouTube. And uh, Kenji G. <laughs> 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 we don't watch the Kenji G while we cook it. It's, it's very intense. But uh, yeah, so she loves the hub. She loves the microwave. Now the kitchen is looking the way I wanted it to look. And yeah, and it has a light. Turn the light on underneath uh, it. So it lights up. 
and do the fan as loud as, as high as it can go. Yeah. It's very loud. But you won't smell no food when we finish cooking. Um, and it works. And another thing she did, couldn't stand when I got is the <laughs> smart toaster. I mean... The smart toaster, she was like, oh my God, you spent all that money for this little thing and... It only heated up two things at a time, so I thought it was like a waste. But I mean, when you think about it, how, how many times are you cooking more than <laughs> two things, two slices of bread at a time? But, but this is the truth as well. It's LCD screen. You pick what you want. You pick fresh frozen or reprieve. You pick the temperature that you want. You start it. it takes everything down. Uh, let you know when it's about to be ready. This thing does exactly what I thought it would. It was awesome. That's another thing she didn't like that I <laughs> I mean, I just, because we had a, a, a toaster with four things and this one only had two. And this was, I guess we could put a link to all these things too in case people want to get them. Some of that is on. If you just look up Smart Toaster, this revolution will pop up. And you got a bunch of gadgets to it now that you can make sandwiches and, and heat it up without even putting it in. It's just, this thing is crazy. Mm -hmm. But uh, that was that. I picked out the, the bread box. <laughs> just gonna say that. So <laughs> the other smart thing we have is the humidifier for her plants. Okay, so this is a humidifier we got from Amazon. It's um, Lavoite egg. And you can set what, what you want the humidity to be around. Um, my plants need it to be at least 60% humidity. So um, between 60 and 70, I think they said is the best for the plants. So I keep it at 65, so it'll go off once it reaches 65, actually once it reaches 70. But once it reaches the target humidity, it'll go off until it drops and then it'll come back on. This is a cool mist humidifier. Um, you have to put distilled water in it. And you can also do it on a schedule. Um, it has a light you can't see because it's bright, but the light comes on if you want it or not. And it also has a uh, schedule in the app. So I have it where it comes on automatically at seven and it goes off at um, 7.30 because the blinds come down and it's too close to the blinds and we don't want the miss messing with the blinds. So you can put it on the schedule and it slips up. But yeah, just um, some of the plant people I recommend, I recommend, I watch on Facebook, not Facebook, oh my goodness. On YouTube, recommended this one, and um, so far it works pretty good. But this one, obviously, you can feel it. It's a cool air mist that it comes out, and it keeps the humidity for the plants. Let's figure out something. The air purifier, those are on the app together. And if you come this way, Rubu has a water dish oh, yeah. and a food dish. This right here is the smart water and food feeder from Genie. Um, you see it has a constant flow of water. It holds up to two and a half liters so she can come and it recycles the water. Uh, she loves it. It has a UV light that kills all bacteria and germs. Um, and we have it on sporadically throughout the day. And when, the, and when it stops, it holds some water at the top so she can drink even when it's off. But sporadically throughout the day, it'll just flow and recycle the water. Um, it it's, it's makes life very, very easy. This is the feeder, and this thing will drop food. Uh, usually I have it drop a half a cup for dinner. She doesn't eat a lot, so um, she usually always have food left over. But every day around seven o'clock, it'll drop a half a cup, and it makes our job so much easier. Um, and that's how you have it. It's the, the genie water and food feeder. Okay. Uh, we have three brilliant light switches. 
this is the two panel. You have a four panel. And right as you come in is the three panel. You can see that when I click on it, um, it has the coffered six, the six lights that's in the coffered ceiling. Um, it's in the great room. If I turn it on, it comes on. Then I can dim it. Um, these are also cameras. So this light switch shows me everything that's in the great room. That one was showing me everything to the front door. And then the one at the front door just shows a little bit of my office. Um, Show how you turn. I, did, I was taking the lights. Oh. Uh, just touch it and it'll come on. Then you can dim them until you turn them off. Um, as soon as we get the chandelier up there, then we'll call the chandelier as well. And I already got it set for that. Oh, the blinds. Oh, the blinds. We'll show a clip of all the blinds, because it... Yeah. When, when I got them sent to Alexa, all these smart jet gadgets, you got to understand that sometimes they're, uh, they jump offline. So sometimes when I have the blinds go up at sunrise, they come down at sunset. Sometimes I'll come downstairs and it'd be a blind still down, but all of them would be up. And it, it pisses me off. When I go through and program, it's, just, it's a headache sometimes. The smart stuff, is, when it's working, it's awesome. It makes life so easy. But when it's not working, it's very frustrating because then I'm real nitpicky, so I gotta make sure it all works. So I gotta go through and spend Lord knows how much time on my app to make sure everything is on the phone. kitchen lights okay she did it she listened this time she doesn't always listen <laughs> and then you can change the light colors any color you want um which is also awesome when it all works it's it's wonderful echo turn kitchen lights blue there you go there you go okay she's showing off today so it's dope it works and this, that's going to come in handy during uh, Christmas season because that's a sandy season. It is. Whoop, whoop. Uh, I guess I shouldn't say whoop, whoop. I should have said ho, ho, ho. Very good. <laughs> when we record the Christmas things, like, like we're getting stuff in like those boxes right there. That's her. This, that's her, is, her big this tree. is a Christmas tree. It's going to be, it's 11 feet tall, so it should come up to the bottom of the uh, window right there. Excited for that. And but. Lord knows how many big giant Santa Clauses and reindeers and Mrs. Clauses. The house yeah. is gonna be crazy during Christmas, but uh, that's what the smart lights is gonna be during that time. Um, another smart thing we have is uh, the Echo. Or Alexa. Yeah, everybody has an Echo or Alexa, whatever. So this is the show today, this is the one that moves and rotates with you. Yeah. Yeah, let me show the um, light switch by the front door that you were talking about. Oh, and the doorknob, but y'all know about the doorknob. We showed that in a video. Yeah, so this is this. I'm going to show off this one. So that's uh, the porch light outside, the outdoor. And I'm just turning everything on. I don't know why, but so I'm turning them all off. That's pretty cool. Uh, the next thing we have. Yeah, I think somebody asked. Those, yeah, that's the camera. But it's the light bulb camera thingy. Um, is an app for this as well. These are awesome. 
I don't know how secure they are, but um, sometimes I used to uh, prank Sammy when we lived in the other house. Uh, we had one of these cameras because we shared an office and she used to be doing her work and I used to be at work and I used to get on my app and point the camera right at her and shine a light on her face and she would look up and she knew that I was watching her. It's very creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very creepy. I just like to play with the camera and make sure it does what it's supposed to do. But and he could talk. Good. We did it to the yes, kids and, once um, and they was looking around like, where is it coming from? Yeah, these, these things have speakers on and everything. And, and what are they called? I forgot. I bought those a while ago. I'm not even sure. Um, we'll try to look it up and find in case somebody does want it. Yeah, and then we have the uh, oh yeah, the Eco Beat, which these are amazing. The fact that they can tell you the, you know, the, how clean the air is, I love that. We have one Shelly. here and we have one upstairs in the bedroom. Show it. Show what? I don't know. Show it. Tell you. Oh yeah, it says clean air. Yeah, right? everything's on it. Well, okay, yeah. So it says the air is clean. And with 55% humidity, yeah, 70 degrees. And it has, a, um, what's her name, Alexa. Yes, uh, Alexa's. Uh, there she goes. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 1.47 p.m. There you go. And she's there. She plays music. The only thing is the speaker isn't as good as a regular Alexa. But it so. should be. It's like a little bit of Yeah, because there's not a speaker. But uh, we have about, with 18 Alexas in this house, it's out of control. Yeah. And it's very annoying when you ring the doorbell and all the Alexas go off and they don't go off at once, but they go off back to back. So it sounds like somebody's sitting there ringing the doorbell over and over again, but they're not. You hear the house going crazy. And all the doorbells have the picture of the person outside and who's at the door. All right, we're gonna start with the Ring Pro smart doorbell. It does a good job. This is purpose. I got no complaints. Then Hi, have, you are currently being recorded. Yes, thank you. Then we have the uh, smart door handle. I've seen a video of this already. Zero, one, zero, unlock. Okay, um, it, this thing is crazy. Because not only does it open on its own, which is cool, but when it... And it actually replaces the bag. Back to normal. It's crazy. The blinds in here are smart. Yeah, they're on the same timer and stuff as the other ones. Yes, and we have blinds for the whole first floor. That's the smart blind. The smart blind in my office. He likes to keep his office dark. Yes. He never opens his blinds. I am a vampire. Uh, smart blind in the baby's office. Smart line in Sandy's office. Oh yeah, we don't. We always keep that down because yeah, they don't like the sunlight in their face. Yeah. But. All right. So we have iRobot vacuum cleaner and the Sidekick, which is the mop. And these things are awesome. Only thing I don't like about the mop is that it, it mops sideways. It doesn't mop the same. Uh, pattern is the floor. Sometimes I go at an angle and we can see the streaks and I gotta go back and make sure that because I'm angle. I don't like to see the streaks. Or fingerprints or patterns and anything from the counters to the 
the LCD screens I, every morning I go through and. I found this on the web. What is she talking about? <laughs> and that thing has Google Assistant on it, so. So the hub, the yeah, vent, the hub, is, the hub is, vent. Is Google. So the hub talks to my TV because I have a Google TV. Um, but this thing will map out the whole first floor so I can tell the vacuum cleaner, look, just clean this room or just clean that room. And I usually have, uh, we call this iRobot vacuum cleaner Benson. And we call the mop Jeeves. So usually I'll just have Jeeves mop the mud room and then shut it down. Tell him to go on. If the Alexa could do it. Okay. Echo. Yeah. Turn on iRobot. Oh no, it's Benson. Oh, shoot. Oh, poor lady. Oh, yeah. There she goes. Okay, don't come towards me. So the Benson usually does a great job. Um, and the great thing about Benson is it cleans itself. That thing, 60 days. You can let it do this thing for 60 days before you gotta empty out the top bin. So there it goes, cleans itself. When you say it cleans itself, it's taking the, taking it the empties dirt. Yeah, the dirt that the it picked up. picked up and it's sucking it up into a bag that's inside the case. So every time you start it, it's fresh. All right, so the next smart thing. Hi, Jay. Let me see you here. <laughs> that looks cute like that. <laughs> All right, the next smart thing is I have smart balls in the garage and I have it sensor to when I open this door, the bulbs are automatically gonna turn on the garage. Here we go. The lights are on. I do what I gotta, I gotta do. And the garage door is also smart. So we can control the garage door opening and closing from our phones. Now if you wanna step out, and if, when we close the door, the lights to turn out on its own. Don't go too far, babe, because then you know. Okay. So, but by that time, we'd be already turned on the, the, the garage door. And the garage door light will come in. Okay, thanks for tuning in. So that was a smart home tour for the first floor. Um, and... Yeah, that's it. I'll try to link whatever we can um, that if he remembers where he got stuff from because he bought like the microwave drawer and the hub thing before we even moved in. So, and that was because and, I- And the doorknob and, and <laughs> a lot of the cameras and- Everything, yes. He sees something, he gets it, then, then I'm filled in later. That's how you gotta do it when you're dealing with someone who's indecisive. I'm not indecisive. I just like to take my time and right. think about, you know, what do I really want? I like to look at all my options and then narrow them down and think about it. Yeah. What do I really want? And sometimes, you know, that doesn't work out. Things will be sold out by the time I decide that I do want something. So I know but, what I want. So I'm gonna just go and get it and then fill her in on the vision that I have and um, 10 out of 10 times, whoa, she usually comes whoa, on board. Whoa, whoa, 10? Uh, 10 out of 10 times, she usually comes on board, so. Uh, 8 out of 10, maybe? No, we'll see. 
yeah we'll see but anyway thanks for tuning in and um we'll see you soon hopefully next week or maybe another week i don't know we'll see you soon don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye